Hi, my name is Shelly Anwar from Staten Island, New York. I am a ministry leader for the My Women's Group. When I received an email from the school, Wholeness Haven Academy, to be enrolled in those classes, exposing Lucifer's end-time strategies, many thoughts came to my mind. I said to myself, not me. I will not be touching that topic at all. I'm not sacrificing my Saturdays either. Plus, I'm in full-time ministry with my women's ministry in my church. I do not have that kind of money. But God had another plan for me. My friend who is currently enrolled in the school told me, you better get on board with those classes. I was still fighting with God, my friend, and myself. Next thing I know, I was in school, sacrificing my Saturdays, doing what I needed to do to empower the body of Christ. The Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Revelation 2, 7 said, He that have an heir, let him hear what the Spirit is saying unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the pa of paradise of God. We have to be spiritually alert and sober-minded. God made everything perfect in this world, including mankind. But the devil and man perverted everything. The information I learned from this school is mind-blowing. Never thought these things exist in this world, but I was wrong. The school impacted me in such a profound way. One of the lessons that captured my imagination is about the Kand um, Kandalini spirit. It's very important to have a spirit of discernment to know what is of God and what isn't. The devil is deceptive, and as the body of Christ, we should be able to discern his deception. We are not standalone Christians. We are all soldiers in the body of Christ. If a soldier is wounded, the other soldiers should be able to get that wounded soldier to safety. That's why those classes are very important for Christians to be equipped and to be empowered to fight the good fight of faith. We should be equipped for the battle by putting on the whole armor of God that he may be able to stand against the wiles or the schemes of the devil, Ephesians 6. I felt like a wounded soldier when I started this school. I came down with COVID-19, influenza B, and developed a urinary tract infection, all in a matter of two weeks. Not able to focus, lost my sense of smell, foggy brain, and the list goes on. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I have soldiers in the army of God that fought for my health and my life. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me from the attacks of the enemy. The devil often attacks our hearts, the seat of our emotions, our health, our families, our identity and trust. God's righteousness is is our body armor that protects our hearts and ensures his approval. He approves all of us, having sent his only son to die for us because of his love for us. We have the belt of truth to destroy the lies of the devil. As believers, we have God's truth to defeat the devil's lies. When we apply the truth of God to our hearts, which is the word of God, the enemy will be defeated, and he has to flee in the name of Jesus. Other topics that stood out to me are the new age and the seven chakras of energy channels. I had no idea what this meant. As we went further into different topics, I learned in depth about secret societies, cults, ancient religions, and paganism. Jezebel, Ahab, Athelia, Delilah, Bela, 
occult practices. Practicing those, those things can have a damaging effect on our lives and generations to come. The enemy comes with his deception. If we are not rooted and grounded in the word of God, we will be easily be deceived. The devil counterfeits everything that God has created and done. John 10.10 10 says, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The prayers in each of the classes were very powerful. I felt the deliverance working power of the Almighty God over my life. Things I thought I had dealt with in my past started resurfacing and I had to deal with it immediately in order to receive my deliverance. I felt the peace of God, the power of God, his cleansing power and his healing power over my life. Shame was lifted off, off of me. The spirit of rejection, hurt and many more. My God is a healer and I thank him for it. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 to 58. But thanks be to God, which gives us the victory through the, our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be he steadfast, unmovable, always bounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as he know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah to Jesus. I want to thank you, whole, Wholeness Haven Academy team, for the hard work you all have done to make those classes possible. May the Lord richly bless you, bless you all and your families. Only eternity will be able to reward you and your team. Thank you. Power message to the church. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. There is a voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare he the way of the Lord. Make your path straight. Matthew 3, 2-3 Repent, turn from your wicked ways. Make your election sure with the Almighty God. Wake up, church. Wake up, body of Christ. God is calling us in this end times to be his remnants, which will stand up for holiness and righteousness. Without holiness, no man will see God. I say no man will see God. Put away those idols in your life. Put away those sinful practices and stay close to God. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in those land he dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. God wants us to humble ourselves and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways. God wants us to heal us and to heal our land. What's holding you back from seeking God's face? Amen.